Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cops Flight. In this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of sneakerserver.com. Let's jump straight into today's overview. So to begin this video, I think it's very important to go ahead and give you guys a brief definition of what a server is so you know exactly what this video is going to go ahead and bring to you. Then we will jump over onto the sneaker server website and break down that. So to begin this video, I think it's very important to go ahead and give you guys a brief idea of what a sneaker server is and why it's used within this community. So a sneaker server is essentially used exact same way as your local home PC will be used however this is done through the remote desktop application on your computer so you go ahead and connect to a computer that is wherever it is in the world depending on where you actually purchased it location wise you go ahead and log on and throughout all the servers loads of companies offer you it scales up in ram the amount of cores the ssd and then the bandwidth of the actual server and one thing to know these servers are most commonly used for its internet connection now when i'm speaking about internet connection there's three variables that we're going to talk about the ping the download and the upload these servers have amazing speed generally i'm going to show you that in the overview as well but that's why people go and utilize servers because the faster your internet connection is going to be that's how faster your tasks are going to operate you can go in and operate more tasks so you have no restraint compared to using your home pc at home with lower wi-fi connection and maybe a worse pc if you want an in detail guide as to what servers are we actually have a link down below in the description if you guys are watching this on youtube and if you guys are on our website then go to cut supply on youtube and the link will be right there for you guys to check out giving you a general overview of servers so let's jump over to the sneakerserver.com website this is the original sneaker server windows servers for sneakers bots you can go ahead and check vps here if you wish or explore bare metal we're going to leave that for now i'm going to go ahead and give you an introduction to the entire thing first then we'll go ahead and break down the packages so if you go down here it says introducing sneaker server with over four years of experience in the server industry sneaker server has been a leader in providing high-speed servers up Optimized for sneak and apparel bots with location carefully selected to be as close as possible to Shopify, Supreme, Nike, Footsite, and CDN data centers. You can rely on sneaker server to offer the best solution for copying extremely limited sneaker and apparel. Sneaker servers work with any bot that supports Windows, including BMB. AIO bot, Cyber AIO, ANB, Nike Shoe Bot, Eve, and etc. So these servers will work with every single bot you go ahead and have in your arsenal. Now scrolling below this text, we have a map with all their servers like they set up here. It's optimized for Shopify Supreme, Nike, Footsite, and CDN data centers. So obviously go ahead and check some out just to go over a few. We have London over here, we have Amsterdam down here. We have Singapore, up here we have Japan, down here we have Sao Paulo, then we have Charlotte, then we have Chicago. So obviously there is a range of locations that you can go and purchase these servers from, so be sure to take that into account when you're using that server alongside your bot to go ahead and bot a certain type of website. So obviously if you're going to use Supreme, then go ahead and buy your servers accordingly. If you're buying it for Shopify purposes, then once again, buy your server accordingly. And below that, we have some sneaker server plans. All servers come with Windows installed on them, one gig ports with the option to upgrade to 10 gigabytes. So we have a bunch of options here. We have economy, standard, professional, ultimate, business, enterprise, supreme, sneaker enthusiast. Now to break down what the core elements of each band is, is pretty simple. Like I mentioned at the beginning, you have RAM, you have your cores, you have your SSD, your one gigabyte uplink and your unmetered bandwidth as well as the price per month that's why the m is there and then you have the order now button and as you guys can see the price is scaling up per each plan and whilst that's doing that the actual specifications of the server is bulking up so you, as you guys can see when it jumps from 40 to 50 the ram goes up and the cpu car goes up so if you want to go ahead and utilize that then go ahead and order a bigger plan you can go ahead and overview which one you want or you can hit the view more packages button if you wish now when you actually hit the view more packages button this page is going to pop up and the only two packages that are available here that weren't available on this page is mega and overkill obviously it's a starting from 320 usd monthly so once again like i mentioned go ahead and overview all the plans and find out which one is the best for you now, on this side it's important to note we have windows linux bare metal server proxies and collocation if you guys wish to go ahead and check out but for the purpose of this video i'm going to go ahead and stick to the windows servers now going back to the main page is actually a why choose sneaker server section so if you guys aren't completely convinced on why you should be investing your money with this server based on what i've said so far go ahead and read this section and i'm going to go ahead and read it here as well the servers are designed to offer a stable and reliable solution to run multiple sneaker bots at high performance which is exactly what you want when you're botting in this scene they're designed for sneaker bots they are affordable prices they have a personal client support they have no overloaded servers you can secure your sneakers and you have multiple locations to choose from which is what i covered on the general map 
up here now to go ahead and break down some of these points if you have affordable pricing that is going to go ahead and allow you to have more profit from these releases so that is obviously a good thing designed for sneaker bots having a company within this scene that's catering their servers towards sneaker bots is obviously very beneficial for any botters there's no overload of servers so there's 100 dedicated resources enterprise grade server hardware never face lag again during drop times obviously facing lag during drop time could be a very bad thing and that could lead to a lack of success so these servers do not lag while you're going ahead and using them and then you have your personal client support which is amazing because you can go ahead and contact these people that are very experienced with these servers to go ahead and solve your issues very easily and then once again we have the multiple locations which we talked about which are catered towards supreme shopify nike footsite and cdn data centers in this paragraph like we've read before and also with investing in sneaker server you have special introductory offers you can go ahead and scale your servers if you wish that incredible pricing save with annual plans manage servers and great support Support. you can hit the button there if you wish to check that out and you also have a bnb discount where you can go ahead and get ten dollars off bnb or bnb aio with any plan so that is amazing to have now scrolling up back to the top of the website we have check vps which if we open this just takes us to all the plans here we can go ahead and scroll through it once again if we hit this button it redirects us to this page where we can go ahead and check out all the plans through all the categories and then you can click explore bare metal if you wish which is just a type of sneaker server then you have the client areas so you can go to log in and register once you go ahead and purchase from you if you want to go ahead and register first then that is up to you then you have your services you have windows server linux server bare metal server data center proxies residential proxies and collocation if you wish to do that then for support you can open a ticket location status affiliate program contact those in terms of service i recommend reading the terms of service before going ahead and making a purchase on this website then you have the frequently asked questions so let's go ahead and open this up here just to go ahead and check it out once this loads we have a bunch of questions here we have questions about the refund policy the billing recurrence and a bunch of questions that if you guys are completely new to this then you should be having a look at just so you have a complete ease of mind before you go ahead and make your purchase so i'm going to go ahead and make my purchase here i'm going to hit the check vps button it's going to open up in a new tab i'm going to go with the economy sneaker server option i have four gigabytes of ram two cpu core 50 gigabyte of ssd one gigabyte uplink and unmetered bandwidth for 40 dollars a month so i'm going to hit the order now button Listen give this a moment to load and then we have the configuration section so it says configure your desired options and continue to check out software economy it shows all the details that i showed up before but it also said live chat and email support if i wish to utilize that then we have the billing cycles we have monthly quarterly semi-annually and annually obviously we're paying with certain options you get discounts here so in theory if i were to pay this annually on the monthly pricing i actually will be paying 480 dollars but because i'm going to go ahead and pay annually they offer a discount on there but it's completely up to you for the purpose of this video i'm going to hit monthly and then for your internet speed like i mentioned before you can go ahead and change the uplink from 10 gigabyte if i wish which is an extra 30 dollars however i'm going to stick with the one gigabyte uplink and then for your operating system you can go ahead and configure this from windows server 2012 to windows server 2016 then for this part you can go ahead and configure your location based on what you're botting or on your own preference i'm going to hit ashburn va but you can go ahead and check out the drop down here and hit where you want the server to be located and then below here you can agree to terms of service so obviously i told you guys to check that out i'm going to go ahead and agree to it because i agree to the terms of service of this website so i've hit the ticks box and then we have the available add-on so we have bnb you can get it for 190 dollars you have bnb aio which is 190 dollars as one time you can add an extra 20 gigabyte of extra disk space or 50 gigabyte of extra disk space for $5.99 USD monthly and $12.99 USD monthly. So if I go ahead and click add to cart, it will just conveniently add to my monthly fee. Then we have an order summary. So it shows the name of the actual plan, shows the name once again, it shows the internet speed, the operating system and the location, all three things I've configured over here. Then the setups fee is zero because I'm setting this up myself and I'm going to be billed monthly $40. So it says $40 total due today. I'm going to hit the continue button and give this a moment to load so it shows a review of the entire thing i'm purchasing i can go ahead and put a promo code in here if i wish and this is where you guys can save some easy money now 40 dollars is already a very good price but if you actually type in code cop supply and hit validate code here 
as you guys are going to see it drops by 15% so you go ahead and get these servers for a completely cheaper price and if you notice the 15% is recurring so you will be paying $34 a month monthly so let's say if I were to have this for a year and I'm saving $6 by the end of the year I will be saving a total of $72 just by activating this discount code so go ahead and activate it all you have to do is button code cop supply for a 15% recurring discount let's go ahead and hit the checkout button here it's going to take me to the sneaker server shopping cart checkout give this a moment to load so because I have yet to register I have to enter some information here so for personal information we are first name last name email address and phone number billing address is company name street address street address to city and the country and in for account security you can go and input your password and you can also confirm your password and below that for payment details you can use stripe or paypal that is completely up to you you can add some additional notes if you wish then you have to solve a capture and then you can complete your order. So I've gone ahead and solved my account. I'm going to hit the complete order button and just wait for this to go ahead and complete my order. As I chose the PayPal option, a PayPal invoice has been given to me on my screen with all my information on here. I've gone ahead and blurred it out. However, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the top as this is a monthly service. Then as you guys can see, it's going to securely log me in through PayPal. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit the agree and subscribe button. And as you guys can see, I've gone ahead and paid $34 and set up a subscription through PayPal. Then at the button, I can hit the return to merchant button. Then this will take me back to the success invoice page showing that everything has gone through completely fine. And on this screen, it shows an order confirmation with a button taking me to the client area. So now we're going to go ahead and move over to the client area part of sneaker server. I've blurred out a bit of this screen just because I don't expose my personal information, but most of it will be very, very similar to what you guys will see. So for the your info section, it essentially says the company name, your name and your address. I've gone ahead and blurred all that out. You have the contact section if you wish to add a contact simply click this and this is what's going to pop up you can go ahead and put in all the information here to add a contact to your account but i'm not going to go ahead and do that it's pretty similar to what we talked about before in terms of your details so go ahead and fill that out if you wish to do that then we have the shortcut section which is ordering new services and logging out your actual account if you wish to go to a different account but breaking down the order new services button it will take you back to this page which we have gone through so if you wish to go ahead and buy any more servers or buy any more servers of different types then you can go ahead and navigate back here and actually buy services within the same account but going back to the client area here to break down what this is it says welcome back to your name then my name's Mohammed that's why that is there it also says it there hello Mohammed as well then I currently have one service which is the server we bought in this video I have zero sign up zero tickets and zero invoices obviously when you go ahead and open a ticket which I will cover in a second that will change when an invoice pops up this will change and when sign ups change then this will change accordingly and this is the affiliate program if you guys want to get into the affiliate program i'm not going to cover it in this video but that is where it is you can hit more details if you wish to look at it you have my recent support tickets so you can check that out as well and also the recent news then to break down these buttons you have the home button which takes you back to here then you have the services button it says my services order new services and view available add-ons then for the billing section you have my invoices my quotes mass payment payment methods and for support you have tickets announcements knowledge base downloads network status so if you wish to go ahead and check out any of that then you can then you can actually go ahead and open a ticket so if you hit this and this opens give it a moment here you can go ahead and open a ticket regarding support sales on billing and then from there you can go ahead and convey your message and when you open that ticket it will appear here and then you have the affiliates program like I said I won't cover it in this video but if you wish to go ahead and check that out simply click onto it and go through that entire process but the next thing I do want to break down is the top part so we have the client area we can log in register location status and submit tickets so you can go ahead and view your tickets if you wish then for services you have windows server linux bare metal server data center proxies residential proxies then for support you can open a ticket location status and also contact them through their contact page their email as well as their twitter and then you have the frequently asked questions and then you have things related to bnb then you have the notifications button so if you get any notifications regarding your payment or your services they will appear here i have no notifications at this time and finally i can go ahead and log out if i wish but to go ahead and actually check out your service you want to go ahead and hit this button it will go ahead and load a new tab I actually mid clicked it that's why it's done that but give this a moment to load 
And once it's loaded, it will look like this. So it shows on the information section of overview, you can manage your products. You can request a cancellation of this said service. Then it shows the type of plan you have, which is economy, the IP address for it, whether it's active. Obviously you have the cancellation button there as well. You have the registration date, the recurring amount, the billing cycle, which is monthly, the next due date and the payment method of it. Then scrolling down a little, you have the money section, which is the control panel. So the service status is powered on. You can boot it, you can reboot it. It shows your CPU usage. Obviously so we bought this plan with two CPU that's why the total is two CPU there and it also shows our RAM usage as well and at the moment we have four gigabytes on there and it's currently using 3.9 percent it will also show your server uptime so my server has been up for 19 hours 14 minutes and 22 seconds then moving over to the configurable option section you have the internet speed the operating system and the location which we all configured when you go ahead and check out your service which i did in this video then you have the additional information button which is just agreeing to the terms of service which i did which is why it is on so now that i've gone ahead and broken down the client area let's actually head to my email where the rest of the information is so you can go ahead and join the server so email will look like this it says sneaker server your server is ready it shows my name and the company that i've gone ahead and put down for this i've gone ahead and blurred out all my other emails but that is the actual email you will be looking for which has your server information in all the other emails is fine that's this confirmation of your invoices that's great but this is the email you want to look for when you go ahead and actually join the server and one thing to know when you go ahead and purchase the server they take up to 12 hours to send this actual email with all your details so if you don't get it straight away and the service doesn't appear in the client area straight away do not worry this email is on the way so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the email here and this is what it looks like so we have the sneaker server logo dear my name and my company in brackets so it says print this message for your records and read this email in full which you are going to do now so it says we are pleased to tell you that your server has now been ordered and now been set up and is operational so we have our server details so we have the server type we have the main IP the username and password I've blurred it out for this video but it is there as you guys can see and it says you can access your server using a remote desktop connection client which I will cover for Windows the client is pre-installed and can be found by searching a remote desktop connection in the start menu for Mac follow this tutorial by going to this link but for the purpose of this video I am on Windows as you guys can tell so I will be following this instruction over here you can control your server from the client area dashboard you're able to boot and reboot from there without opening a ticket which you already know as I've covered it then for the support section of this email for any of your support needs please open a ticket at that link like I covered please include any necessary information to provide you with a faster service such as a root password domain names and a description of the problem slash or assistance needed this will speed up the support time by allowing our administrators to immediately begin diagnosing your problem come join our discord server if you wish to go ahead and do that then you can so let's go ahead and follow this email let's go to my windows bar here and type in remote desktop connection this is what it's going to look like so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is copy the main ip here I'm gonna grab that and put that into where it says computer. Once I hit the connect button, it's gonna go ahead and verify it and this box is going to pop up. I'm going to go ahead and grab the username here, put the username in there, it is administrator. Then I've got the password here. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I copy that properly. Put the password in there. I can hit the remember me button so it remembers all this information so I can go ahead and log in easy. I can hit this button to go ahead and view my password, but I know it's right, so I'm gonna hit okay. It's going to go ahead and prompt me with this. I'm gonna hit this button and hit yes. I'm going to create a secure connection and log me into the computer. And as you guys can see, I am logged in and ready to go. Now that we're actually in the server, you can go ahead and install your bots on here through the browser that's already installed. You can go to your browser, go ahead and download your bots, incorporate your proxies, and take advantage of the higher speeds. So I did mention at the beginning of this video that these servers have amazing speeds and as you guys can see as I'm demonstrating on the screen via speeddesk.net we have amazing speeds the ping is one milliseconds the download is 523 and the upload is 945 and now to go ahead and demonstrate these speeds I'm going to go ahead and ping a website so how you do that is you go to your windows here and you type in cmd those are three letters command prompt will pop up so hit this hit enter and type in the word ping then the website so for this example I'm going to do kif.com and as you guys can see give it a second to go ahead and ping the actual website Website. and as you guys can see the speeds are very very good we actually do have a botting sneakers overview which will be linked down below that gives more information about the servers installing bots on the server it's just a lot more informational and more targeted at solely servers however this video is more targeted at the sneaker server website that is going to go ahead and conclude this video if you guys did enjoy this video drop a like on today's video be sure to check out all the companies i mentioned in this video and make sure to use code cop supply when you go ahead and check out anything from the sneaker server website that is going to conclude the overview of sneaker server at cop supply